Hello guys, welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about page load timeout in Selenium WebDriver. In generally, if you want to execute anything in Selenium WebDriver, what you will do? First, we will launch the web browser, then we will navigate to one web page or any URL. Once the page is completely loaded, then we will start executing the actions, right? So without the page is actually loaded, you cannot perform the operations. Because the page is loading, that means the HTML controls are being rendered into the browser. The elements are being loaded, right? So without the actually elements are loaded completely, you cannot start the execution, right? You cannot start the actions. So here, the time which actually this application is taking to load completely is called page load time, okay? So don't look at this one, page load timeout, okay? So here first, let's discuss about page load time, okay? So that is called the page load time. It is actually taking so and so time to load the page. So some applications may take a less time, like within a seconds it may load, like five seconds or two seconds or three seconds. But some applications may take longer periods of time, like five minutes, 10 minutes sometimes, right? So this is because of many reasons, like the application is not properly built or some application issue, or it might be a network issue, okay? Maybe some components are missing in the application which makes the page to completely load like that continuously. So it might be because of any reason, right? But you should not supposed to wait that much of time in your script because if you're not going to set some limit to this timeout, let's say for example, based on my application standards, I know that my application will definitely load within a minute, okay? So in that case, there is no point of waiting till five minutes of time, right? So there is an issue in the application. That is the reason the application is not loaded till five minutes of time, right? So you should not wait till five minutes because as per the standards, the application should load within a minute. But if it is not loading within a minute, you should not wait till five minutes. You should actually report it to the developer saying that the application is actually not loading. There is an issue in that one, right? So if you are not going to set this limit, then the Selenium script will keep on waiting for the page to load, right? So to avoid that, Selenium WebDriver has introduced this page load timeout, okay? So here it says time out. So if the application is not going to load within the specified time, then the Selenium is going to throw the exception for us, the timeout exception, okay? So let's say you can set even seconds, milliseconds also here in the page load timeout, okay? So within that mentioned time, if the application is not loaded, then the Selenium WebDriver script will throw you the exception, okay? Then you know that, okay, because of some issues, the application is not loaded. Then you will report that to development team, right? So that is about the page load timeout. Now let's see in the practical, okay? So let me just create one class file here. I'll just name this as page load timeout test. Okay, I need a main method. So here I'm going to launch the Chrome browser. I'm going to take the help of WebDriver Manager. Chrome driver setup. Okay, next, I want to create the driver instance, right? So I need to change to this one, okay? So now I'll just first write the script, then I will add the timeout. Okay. So what I will do, I'll just navigate to my website that is hyrtutorials.com, okay? So after navigating to this one, I simply want to print the title of this page. So how do we do that? We have a method called get title on driver, right? So driver dot get title. This will print the driver title, the browser title, which is shown here. Okay, this is the title. So next, after printing, I simply want to fit the browser. Okay, so here I haven't provided any way. Right, so let me just execute it. So the browser is loaded. So my application is loaded, right? It took around five seconds maybe, right? So I haven't mentioned any timeout here. In this case, actually my application is loaded within five seconds, but if you have an application which loads within 10 minutes, 
how much time the Selenium web driver will by default wait. So as I said, we need to restrict that page load time, right? But if the user is actually forgetting while he's running the automation script, then what happens? It will not keep on waiting, right? So what happens here is Selenium has the default values already set. Okay. So for the page load timeout, the default value is 300 seconds. Okay. So this is the default value, 300 seconds. So within this 300 seconds, if the page is actually not loaded, then it is going to throw the exception a timeout exception okay but you can change this default value by setting explicitly okay whenever we you set the page load timeout explicitly the default time will not be considered either the default time or explicitly mentioned time so now in this case it is actually taking this default time 300 seconds but my application is actually loaded within five seconds so i did not get any exception okay so just to show you the exception, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one time to a two seconds. I'm going to just limit the page load time to two seconds. Okay. My application is taking more than two seconds, right? So in that case, the application will not be loaded in two seconds. Then I will get the exception, right? So the syntax to set this timeout is driver dot manage. So if you want to perform any configuration related settings to the browser, you have to take this manage driver dot manage then inside this manage you can actually set the browser related configurations so here particularly the page load timeout will fall under one category that is timeouts category right so all the time related categories so we have an interface for that that is timeouts dot page load timeout okay so this page load timeout actually takes two parameters one is time and the other one is time unit okay so here you have to mention the time how much you actually want to restrict it so i say two seconds okay here i'm going to say the time unit okay here you no need to type like seconds or something so we have an enum that is time unit dot seconds we have to just pick the value from the time unit enum okay so now i have set the time to two seconds so when i set this explicitly this default time will not be working Okay, this time it will actually wait for two seconds only for this page to load. If the page is not loaded within two seconds, it will throw me the exception. Okay, so let me just execute this. See, here it is actually loaded, but in the back end, before it actually takes from this to this one, I mean the execution from here to here, it actually waited for two seconds only. So within the two seconds, the web driver, the browser page is not loaded perfectly. So it actually thrown the exception. Okay. So here it says timeout exception. Okay. Timeout receiving message from renderer. So that means it is actually not loaded within two seconds. So now what I will do, I'll just give 10 seconds of time and I will execute it again. Okay, before that, I will just close the existing browser. So now I will execute this. This time it should not throw me the exception because the usually my application will take around five to six seconds and I have given 10 seconds. Okay, see now it did not throw me any exception. It has printed the title. So within 10 seconds of time, the page is loaded, right? So you have to always restrict the page load time. Otherwise, the web driver will keep on waiting for 300 seconds. That's like five minutes, okay? So it will try to wait for five minutes, but maybe your application standards may not suggest that much of time, okay? So that is why you have to always restrict your page load time. So here, if you pass the negative value, it will actually throw you the exception, okay? because the page load timeout must be a non-negative integer that means a positive one okay now i have given minus two right so let me just execute this now you can see even the page is actually not loaded okay here i have some exception what it says invalid argument exception okay here it says value must be a non-negative integer. 
right so that means it has to be a positive one it cannot be a negative value so your page load timeout should be a positive one that means from zero it will start and if you don't specify the page load timeout explicitly by default the web driver is going to wait for 300 seconds so when you mention the timeout explicitly it will consider that explicit time okay and you are not going to specify this in every script so wherever you are initializing the browser there we actually specify this time why because we are actually initializing the driver and we are setting some things to the browser whatever the browser that launched it from the automation for the browser we are changing the configuration so if you are changing the configuration it will be a one time activity right so you will not do it in the every script you will do it in one place where actually this browser this driver is actually initiated okay so there you will write this statement okay it has to be a positive value so i hope you understand this session if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching bye bye